Catherine with Game Cross on it, and um, I've been dabbling around with uh, WarioWare DIY, and I thought I would show you the game that I have made. Firstly, how cool is my DS? Ben Thomas, awesome. Anyways, so I have made a Jet Set Radio game. Um, as you can see at the top, just there. So cover up that ugly graffiti. And then as you can see, we've got beat, an arrow, like you do when you spray the graffiti in the game. And uh, the ugly graffiti you cover up. And then by Catherine. What's the notice? Game my car software. I only actually just published this game because I didn't really want to, but I thought I should do it for this video. Also, it was annoying because uh, I couldn't fit a space in the name in Jet Set Radio. So I just called it Jet Set as one word and then radio. Um, okay, so what I will do, I will put some music on in the background uh, because sadly I could not compose any music good enough for the game itself. Um, which is a bit sad, but um, yeah. So I play a good piece of music. Dead. Hopefully they won't be too loud. I'll just let that one die. So you've just got to tap the graffiti. One, two, three. Okay. This is really hard to show. There you go. So what it's got, it's there's um there's one, two, four pieces. Is it four? Dinosaur. Okay. Yeah, I've got four different pieces of graffiti. So we've got the fish, Jets of Radio logo, um, the pear, and the dinosaur. The dinosaur being my least favourite, um, but I'm quite proud of the fish and the logo and the pear because I think the pear is quite cute. Um, although it is kind of the Copperberg pear for those that are uh, no Copperberg. Um, so I'm going. I'm going to put pause on my music. Actually, I'll turn it off. I know. I'll open it up in here. So we've got the background. So this is in the assembly maker. I've got Here's all my objects. So what happens is I've got, along the top, I've got uh, a randomizer that appears in four separate sections. Uh, when the randomizer goes to there, it then bumps the graffiti, uh, one of the graffiti sets, where you click on the graffiti, which makes no sense. So you click on that. That then sets the randomizer to go in one of these four bits along the top. Actually, if I, if I look in the AI instead. Um, sorry, sorry. So, okay. Uh, the randomizer, which I just showed you, goes in along these four bits. Uh, when you tap on the graffiti, it then puts the randomizer in one of the places and then it swaps the randomizer with one of the pieces of graffiti dependent on which section it's in. So this first section says the fish, then we've got the Jet Set Radio logo, the pear and the dinosaur. And then it switches places with those. Uh, also as well as doing that then of course it switches the art on tapping the thing and does switches. Um, the arrow is commanded by switches as well. So it's, I'm happy with how I did it in the end because it meant you didn't tap anywhere on the screen the hours have changed, the how it was originally. Uh, but instead it only registers when you tap on the graffiti and it goes from the place. Um, I've got, as you can see here, four switches. These are all monitor um, the graffiti and the arrows. Switch four down here is the one that finally gets the arrows to change. Um, so you can see I've got all my... lots of AI. Right, there's a fair bit on there, there's not a huge amount. And we've got lots on the 
graffiti itself. Let's put some on there as well. Either way, it was a uh, maybe two weeks worth of work. But when I say two weeks, that's about 30 minutes each day. So 10 minutes on my train journey to work in the morning and 20 minutes coming home because of course in the morning I read the newspaper as well. Um, but yeah, so we've, it's quite complex, or at least it was complex for me. I'm not a coder, I'm a designer. Um, so I found it kind of complex, but also quite easy at the same time. The only time I really had trouble was with the randomizer and then getting the switches to work properly to turn the things on. Um, I'm probably not explaining it as complex as it is, but then others may find it not that complex. Um, but I really enjoyed working on it. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm quite sad I didn't put the music in. I did put sound effects in. But as you can't change the sound effects in the WarioWare game, as in import your own ones, I, I used the best thing, which isn't very good. Oh, I wish that music wasn't there. So there was the, um, what is that song? Oh, I know what is it is. Is it Hung Hungarian March? Either way, it was a preset song that was put in the WarioWare records. Um, and you probably can't hear it, but I think I, I put a gulp. I'm sure you can hear that. On the, the clicking. Because the only two things that sounded remotely like graffiti was the gulp and munching. And I went with gulp in the end. Um, but I would like it if you could record your own sound effects, because I'd rather do that than use the preset ones. Uh, the music system I found too hard. I'm not a musician. I'm crap at making music. Um, which is why I crapped out and uh, used my little MP3 player and uh, played the music on that. But overall, I'm I'm really happy with it, especially because well, if I, it was 30 minutes every day for about two weeks, I spent what seven seven hours. I'm sorry, I'm really tired. I've been working too much. For seven. Seven hours? I don't. I don't know. I don't know. It's something. Um, but I had real fun uh, working on it, and it was actually my first WarioWare DIY. Oh, actually, saying that it's not my first WarioWare DIY game. I made one which was really simple of tapping on someone's door and making them leave the house. Um, but this one I'm more proud of. I would like to improve Beat. He's quite simple looking. Um, but he's all right. He's better than he started off as. Um, I love. I like the apple, which, as you can see, there in its four stages. I liked the Jet Set Radio logo, which I actually did waiting for uh, the Hideo Kojima signing in uh, London, which I thought was quite a feat because it was. A, I was sat on like the side of a road and it was a bit cold. Uh, then there's the fish, which I did on a train journey home. And the dinosaur, which I don't really like that much, but he's the best I could. Well, I didn't feel like drawing it anymore because it's quite annoying because it's pixel art. Um, but yeah, it's great. I'll uh, I'll put it on the uh, the network when I can. The uh, WarioWare downloady thing. However, because it's a DS game and not a DSiWare game, well, at least I've got the DS version. Um, you need a web connection in order to share them and go on the internet with a DS game whereas I use WPA because it's more secure and uh, I have yet to find anywhere that's web that I can connect my DSi to because nowhere at work has it I went to a Krispy Kreme and uh, sadly they didn't well, you, it connected to the cloud so you had to have a username and password and of course you can't do that with a DS um, but yeah, so that was my, my Jet Set Radio game for the Jet Set Radio 10th anniversary, which was back on the 29th of June, I believe. I may have that wrong. But the original Jet Set Radio, of course, so the Dreamcast version. Um, and it was his 10th anniversary, so that's what I produced for it. I did want to draw something, um, but I've been very busy with work, so I didn't have the time to do so. So I made the game instead, which I'm really happy with. And uh, hopefully I'll put it up on the, the, the thing soon, so other people can play it as well. And when I do... I'll just make a note of it somewhere or put something up on the GameCast website. Uh, but yes, yeah, so that was my uh, Jetsu Radio game and I hope you think it looked kind of cool.